Reds trying to snap a five-game losing streak, and the only way this team can do that is leave town. How about Houston? Reds don't have a hit until the fourth is grounded by Ruben Rivera. Should get Bottenfield out of the inning. Lugo's bad throw loads the bases for a hometown boy, Jason LaRue, and Granny's going hunting, folks. First career grand slam for Zip. Next inning, Meat taking a bite out of this one to left. Donnie Sadler cooking for first. I think Donnie's faster than Dion. Throw home, great slide, five zip, then Casey. Little floater to center. First time the Reds have scored six in 14 games. Fernandez, great until the seventh inning, folks. Two out, 0-2 pitch to Daryl Ward. Big mistake with two men on. 6-3 Reds. 6-4 in the ninth when Brandon Larson gets his first major league hit and his first RBI as well. Rivera makes it 7-4. Then to close the game, how about a little more Brandon Larson? Nice arm. Sweet. Reds win 7-4. Here's your box score bonus. LaRue's granny is the fourth homer of the year, second in as many games, but the Reds, 32 homers, last in the NL. Meat goes 3-4, for four, average up to 301. Fernandez now 5-2 with a win. Making the Red starters now 1-9 in, in their last 18 starts. But it does stop the Astros' five-game winning streak. More pokey trade rumors published reports saying the Reds have offered the Gold Glover up for Fracal, Suriano, Nephi Perez, each straight up. All three deals turned down. Polk thinks he will play tomorrow after taking five stitches in his index finger. Sports anchor Harvey Smilovitz with the stories behind the scores. Welcome back. The Reds injury list now includes Captain Barry Larkin on the 15-day DL, while Pokey Reese returns tonight to face the Astros. Let's go to Enron Field. Former well, President George Bush getting the loudest cheers. Starter Chris Reitzma gets tagged in the sixth. Jeff Bagwell leads over the long fly. This thing carries and turns into a home run. Next up, Lance Berkman bangs his 10th homer to left field. That gives Houston a 4 to nothing lead. Now Pokey Reese gets one back, going opposite way. Looks like that cut on his finger is doing just fine. Pokey Reese back in the lineup tonight. Then it's Kelly Stinnett's turn to come up and bang a homer to left field. Michael Tucker adds another blast for the Reds, but watch what happens on the pop-up here. Dimitri Young, Donnie Sadler, both going for the ball. Someone call it. Look out. Boom. Young leaves with a bruised left knee. Sadler walks away with dizziness. Both now day-to-day. -day. That's all the Reds need, more injuries. They Nothing on a Casey ground down. Then Michael Tucker takes Jose Lima deep to left in the third. Just fair for the third homer this season. Next batter, Sean Casey. Goodbye. Back to back jacks. Casey seventh. That makes it three to nothing. Next inning, Juan Castro takes the fastball opposite way to right. Jason LaRue, come on down. Reds on top, four to nothing. A couple batters later, Pokey Reese singles the right center. Brandon Larson scores. The Reds are on top, five to nothing. And then Casey continues his tear. Singles to right, scores Castro, an insurmountable 6-0 lead for Elmer Descends, right? Not quite. It's 6-1 in the fifth when Lance Berkman singles the center. Two come in, it's 6-3, so long Elmer. Scott Sullivan lit it up in the eighth. Moises Alou and Daryl Ward. Uh-oh, back-to-back for the Strohs, that's 6-5. Now on the ninth, Jeff Bagwell on second. Danny Graves, Jose Vizcaino. Great stab by Brandon Larson. And Richard Adago grounds the pokey playing short. Reds hold on and win it six to five. We can't uh, win like a lot of other teams win. They got guys that hit home runs and guys that uh, drive in 100 runs a year. Right now we don't. We're not fortunate enough to have that. You know, so uh, we got to steal bases and we got to do some hit and runs and we got to scratch and claw for every single run we can get. That's a huge win for us. You know, especially for us to get up early, six, and then you know, really for our bullpen to hold the lead and, and, and do what we had to do. And Elmer pitched great. I mean, Elmer pitched great for us and kept us where we needed to be. And then, uh, you know, Sully and then, and, then, and then Gravy just coming in for two innings. It was awesome. And, and it was nice seeing Pokey was all over there at short, you know. <laughs> and the Larson really saved, you know, might have saved the game with that play. So, yeah, it was really a team effort today, which is, which is important. Now your box score bonus. Elmer descends, now 3-2 and two with the win. Casey leads the team with 17 multi-hit games. And though the Reds are last in the National League with 37 home runs, it was the third time this season they've had back-to-back -back home.